Hey everyone, I'm Mike. I'm an aspiring professional artist and welcome to my channel. If you have been wondering whether or not Mark Brunet's Art School for Digital Artists is worth the investment, then you've stumbled upon the right video. I have been in this program for about a year and a half now and I've actually been in his feedback group for about five months and I'll be answering that question for you today. Let's get started. So I'm going to go briefly over the course content, just kind of show it to you just a little bit so you can see it with your own eyes. Um, and then I'll go towards showing you my improvements in this past year and a half, my experience with the material that you're seeing on screen right here, the experience that I've had in his feedback group, uh, whether or not I feel like it's worth your investment. And then at the very end, I have a, a special little message to Mark himself. So hopefully you watch this video at some point, Mark. All right, so let's look through here. So I'm going to just kind of tell you what's happening in each of the terms. So the first term is giving you the fundamentals of both uh, Photoshop, what art actually is, and uh, kind of working a little bit on figure drawing and perspective. The next term is building upon the, uh, that first term, just giving you more information about what art is, how to work Photoshop, and it'll still work with Clip Studio Paint as well, so you don't have to worry about that. It talks about anatomy one, which is the head, constructing the head, which is so much fun, and then perspective two. Um, these little term zips right here that you see, these are a lot of like, sometimes they're brushes and things like that, but assignments and things of that nature that you will have to do. Uh, the third term is more figure drawing, but this time it's clothes, so you learn a little bit about uh, clothing theory and things of that nature. You learn more anatomy. This is the first time you start to see some ZBrush. I haven't done these courses yet, uh, but I've, I've seen the work that people do within the course, and it looks fantastic. Term four, you learn a little bit more about the film and game industry and how you would fit possibly within those industries and kind of the hierarchy as well. And then a little bit more of the anatomy um, and then color and light theory. Term five, you go into animal and creature drawing, which builds upon the anatomy that you learn within the human body. You kind of manipulate it in order to make it work for animals. Um, nude figure sculpting, uh, which is another ZBrush course. Character design, which is probably my favorite course thus far. I really, really loved that course. Then you go to term six, color and light theory, composition and storytelling, mech design, Physics of Materials, Term 7, uh, Enhanced Learning, Personal Project, which might be my second favorite course so far, maybe number one, um, Prop Design, I haven't gotten to, um, Environmental Design, Personal Project 2, Matte Painting, Intro to Graphic Design, Personal Project 3, and then it ends with Digital Illustration. Once I get through all of these other terms in probably another seven, eight months, I will definitely be giving you an updated review on how those terms went. So I wanted to go through quickly some of the improvements that I've had in about a year, year and a half time, uh, just so that you could see what you might be able to accomplish as well. And you know, if you're able to practice more than I am, you'd be able to accomplish more, right? So if we look on the left over here, you can see this is a gesture drawing that was about a minute, a minute and a half range, I believe, uh, from about a year ago. And then if you look on the right, this is a gesture drawing from just like a week or two ago, right? So there's a lot of differences between the two. I would say the one on the left, there's a lot of straight lines. There's not too much fluidity in there. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, but it definitely needs a lot of work. Whereas the one on the right is basically a constructed body that has a lot of fluidity with it. It's got volume to it. It doesn't look like a basically like a sticker. Um, so there's a lot of improvement there. So let's go to another example. As you can see, the one from two years ago, it's not bad. Like again, it's not a, a bad drawing by any means, but it's just missing a lot, right? It doesn't have proper construction. It The clothing looks kind of like a pasted thing that's on the body. Uh, Anatomy is a little bit off, a little wonky. Perspective's not quite there either. Whereas the one on the right, it's got a background, it's got lighting, it's got uh, a little bit of an emotional appeal to it because there's storytelling within it. Um, it's got good structure for the face and things of that nature. So there's a lot of improvement. Now. But my experience with the material thus far, my opinion from the last video hasn't really changed. I really enjoy all of the courses I've done so far. 
The biggest concern that I had in the last video was with the homework and feeling like there wasn't enough guidance there. But my feeling about the topic in that video was right. Although this might be a tough pill to swallow, no one is going to give you all the answers. They'll give you ideas and it's up to you to be honest with yourself on where you want to concentrate and where you want to go moving forward. For instance, I have decided to work as hard as I possibly can on anatomy and gesture drawing and it's actually improved my art tremendously. But the reason for that is because I understood my motive. I understood what I was working towards. So that's one thing I will say is that it teaches you, you need to figure out what your actual goal is so that you know which uh, practices and homeworks to do more frequently and to go back over again and again and again. The other big concern that I had was the timing of moving forward and the terms and courses. So the one thing that's actually really helped me out with that is the feedback course, which I'll get to in a little bit. But the general guide, I think you could probably work on, and I'm sure that Mark would somewhat agree at least, is you want to understand at least 75 to 80% of the material before you move on. Understanding the material isn't just seeing the video and actually thinking that you know it now, right? Uh, it's one thing to see something and understand the concept and to actually be able to do it. Art is about learning and practicing what you learn because it's a skill based on both knowledge and hand-eye coordination slash muscle memory. So I would say the course is fantastic overall. Uh, I have almost no complaints. The only things that are kind of missing in there here and there is stuff like how do you draw hair, uh, and things of that nature, but it, that's not really that big of a deal. And again, that's something you can kind of look into uh, at a different time. So what is my experience with the feedback course? I feel that Mark is an excellent mentor. For those of you who don't know me, my full-time job is currently as a therapist. And one of the things that you, they teach you in therapy is called a strength-based approach. This is what makes Mark a great mentor. He's a thousand percent strength based. Watch this short clip of his feedback to me. You know, so that when you remove it, you know, you get a clean drawing that, uh, that doesn't use too many lines. And you have still a little bit of shading in here, but only like where it really matters. Um, and it just looks cleaner. You know, that's, that's the whole idea here. You have such solid construction, just keeping keeping that, you know, like featuring that as much as possible because that's that's the strong part here. That's that's what's really leveled up. And that's the most important. So feature it. Feature it more. Strength-based therapy is essentially taking the positive portions of someone's personal being and helping them see it, then offering a solution to the problem that they face by using that strength. Within this clip, you can see he is giving me a corrective experience, but also showing me that I'm excelling in a specific area. This is the same encouragement that he gives all of his students that he feels are working hard on their goals, and it's a really, really incredible experience. I also feel he spends an adequate amount of time giving feedback to each person. That was one thing I was worried about at first when I paid for the feedback program, but I've never really felt like he isn't giving me something that can help me grow. This is even true when it seems like he feels I've been doing a really good job overall. He typically helps me develop a new challenge for myself so I can grow even more. He's also very clearly going to tell you whether or not he feels you are ready to move on in the terms or if you've gone a little too far or lack the fundamentals if you ask him and I have a few times. So that was a huge bonus for me but I will get into this a little bit more in my message to him but I think that what actually happened was is he just helped me gain some confidence in my work rather than actually the approval from him was what was moving me forward. It was the confidence that he gave me. All right, so now for the big question, is it worth the investment? The answer is yes. So for the content piece, I would say that even if you're at a really, really advanced level in your art, it's still going to be worth it to get the entirety of the courses. And the reason why I say that is because we can always 
always work on our fundamentals in a different way. And hearing from a different point of view how somebody might do the fundamentals like Mark, who's been well established in the field for decades, maybe not decades, sorry, Mark, I aged you, but <laughs> who's been there for quite some time, right? It, it's, it's going to give you something, right? Uh, and you always should be open-minded to those kinds of things. As far as the feedback is concerned, I would say that that's also worth it. It is pretty pricey, but if you really think about it, getting feedback over the course of 52 weeks, that's a lot of feedback, even if it is only 15 to 20 minutes. And if you really think about it again, spending money on one hour sessions once a, you know, once a week for 52, you're going to spend a lot, lot more. Granted, yeah, you would have more time with the feedback, but it's just, it's, I think it's well worth it. Um, so really from the last video to this video, if anything, I would say that my confidence in the program has improved and not gone down at all. I really, really have enjoyed this. It's really helped me grow as both kind of a human being in some ways, but also as an artist, uh, which is probably more important for some of you, right? Um, <laughs> so it's something that I would highly recommend to anybody who's questioning it, whether you're a beginner, whether you're kind of a novice in the middle maybe, or whether you're very skilled in art, there's going to be something in here for you that will help you excel your art even further. All right, and finally, the last part of the video, my message to Mark. Mark, my bald-headed brother, I hope that you're watching. <laughs> All jokes aside, I did want to take the time just because, one, feedback group at some point for me, even if I do get it renewed, it's going to end, right? And that'll probably end my contact with you in some ways, besides maybe sporadically posting something on our little Facebook page, right? And I don't know if I'll ever see you in person, so I felt like this was probably the best second option that I would have. I just want to really sincerely thank you for all that you've done for, for me and for all the other students as well. I can't speak for them, but I can speak for me, and I just want you to know that the the amount of confidence that you've instilled in me over the past few months in my artwork because i'm not a very confident human being uh it's just it's been almost like life changing for me in some ways um you've helped me realize that you know even if it's not quite time yet at some point in the future whether it's this time next year or two years from now i can be a professional artist and that's just it's just meant the world to me so I just wanted to take the time to thank you um, and hopefully for those of you if you're watching this part of the, the footage you can tell that I'm being sincere when I say all of these nice things about Mark and it's not just because I like him as a human because I do it's because he does a great job and he cares about everybody and he wants everybody to succeed and that's not something you really find in this world too often um, and I gravitate towards people like that because that's the kind of person that I hope that I am and I want to be so again really from the bottom of my heart mark thank you so much um it's been yeah it's been a great experience for me and you know at some point again once i'm gone and we're not communicating as frequently i'll still keep these like little segments of what we've gone through and the feedback that you've given to me um, i'll keep them with me as i move on into a professional art career at some point so again thank you so much um and i i'll see you in feedback group all right all right, for the rest of you, I hope that this video was helpful. I'll probably do another one of these kind of review videos for art school, maybe once I'm getting my certificate or something like that. So look forward to that. Um, but yeah, I hope that this was helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next video.